Yeah, sunny. Oh. Hope y'all having a good one today. I appreciate y'all for clicking and joining in on my video today. Y'all, today is the last day of summer school. Not for the students, but for us. The students finished up last week. They've been testing this week for their Georgia milestone assessments. And let's get this day done because I am ready to fully embrace my summer break. I only got two weeks left. Been here for a month and a half, but I've been enjoying it. But let's catch up. I take me a break, get some shots up. This has honestly been my safe haven for the summer. I ain't gonna lie, today be the last day. I'm gonna kind of miss this place. Hey, listen, this is your sign. If you haven't been active today, you ain't got it in your plans. Go be at it. Right, how about this? If I make this shot, I ain't gonna edit it. You gotta be active. No edits. One take. <laughs> you gotta go get the, You gotta go do something. Good little shooting session. Good little shooting session. I said, I want to show y'all this really quick. Y'all look at this. Yo, like I walked past these windows one day and I saw this and I was like, what? The freak is that I even feel weird walking up to this thing right now. That is so creepy. Imagine just randomly just walking through the hallway. So this is their CTAE. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, just kind of helps with kids that want to go into like the medical field. But y'all, look at this. If this ain't scary, I don't know what is. You know what? Nah, I'm out of here. <laughs> this is crazy. That's weird, y'all. I love what the school has to offer, but that ain't for me. Despite the glitz and the glamour of this new school and how uh, how much of an awe I was in when I first got here, I definitely miss my home school. It's like the glitz and the glamour, the newness of the building worn off after the second week. We're like, man, we just here. It's business. But I really enjoyed my time here. And I just thank God for another opportunity for summer school and for not only building those relationships with the kids, but it does help monetarily as well and we had a successful summer and i'm glad it's to an end now let's discuss plans what are we going to be doing i have some plans but it looks like i'm not sure it's going to happen because the weather might be a little bit inclement but i don't know we'll see it's summertime Class classroom thank you all you did for me it's been a blast but mrs smith signing out is the sound and the feeling of freedom. Man, it is summertime. Should we go to the pool today? It is a beautiful day. I might go to the pool, but either way, it don't matter because I am no longer dictated by the clock. No more summer league, no more summer school, just Marcel. Let's figure out what we're doing today.
All right, y'all, so we are in the Cobb area today. Jamila is accompanying me. I mean, not accompanying me, yeah. but it's like we're out here together, spending the day with each other. We've been cleaning all day, and we just left Ulta. Honey, I want us to go into TJ Maxx mm -hmm. because earlier, as you know, I established a clear compartmentalized oh, yeah. section on the kitchen counter for your coffee station coffee um what did you call it you had to call something all right what did i call Co it maybe a coffee station it wasn't station though it was like coffee a coffee corner coffee corner something like okay. that but we have clearly established jamila a coffee corner in the kitchen it's like a i really i can't remember the name of it but either way we're in here mm -hmm. to look for maybe a marbleized tray uh -huh. to i guess add to the aesthetic uh -huh. and i know that we disagree with this but if they have a really nice large picture yeah Honey, I'm tired of having that big old we, center wall. We literally have agreed that we're gonna make one. We're gonna go and get the canvas. Also, speaking of canvas, I, I want us to get the canvas mm -hmm. and do the little TikTok where we do a self-portrait painting, even though we did the drawing version on yeah. our channel. Yeah. I wanna do the um, painting version. That'd be nice. That'd be funny. Yeah, it would be. That's what I want us to look for. Mm -hmm. And what I also wanna look for is potentially some man cave stuff. Cause I'm in the process of, especially if we don't go anywhere mm -hmm. for the rest of the uh, summer, I'm gonna break that bed down and I'm gonna fully transform that room. The only thing about breaking our beds down is where are they gonna go? In the basement. In the unfinished basement. In the unfinished basement. It's levels to this. And but I we are gonna have to buy like some like plastic cover. Yeah, and I was gonna finish. look on Amazon for that. But then we'll have to bring it back up if we have a guest, random, random or not guest. I know. We can talk about it. Offline. I need, yeah. I need a I need a uh, content room. Just like you got a content room. Or you want to make a content room. Could we, First could of we all, that a joint you can't get rid room? of your bed because I need that's the laundry room. That no. Yeah. No ma'am. Mm -hmm. No ma'am. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can find everything and find everything. You mean look. We're, this is a looking. No, nah, I'm visit. pulling. I'm pulling trigger today. If I see a big picture, I'm not even asking. Yes, you are. I'm not asking. Honey, we can't have no random stuff in our house. Okay, you know what? I'll show you, and then if it looks like you'll like it, see everything with Jamila. Jamila's like um, it grows on her kind of a person. So, we'll see. Honey. Mm hmm. There's nothing we found that we fought, fallen in love with. Yes, it is. You just don't be liking the price of stuff. We're not paying over $100 for a picture. Are we frugal? Definitely. We're not paying over $100 for a picture. And that's not, they're not going to have no under $100 pictures. So it's like, don't waste our time. Because we can get a big canvas. We can do um, some nice little art for under $100. Yep. And it'd be better than anything we could buy in there. Okay. Come on. Are you about to drop the mic? Yeah. All right, let me go. Let me get your door down. Fellas, get, get out. let me show y'all how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> let me show y'all how to get the door for your room. Fellas, it be too hot up in these cars, so if y'all ain't walking in super speed, jet, your wife gonna open the door. Your girl gonna open the door regardless. Hey. It jet like, what you say? It jet like that. Now listen, if it's hot, don't leave her bacon in this car. Little got some cloud coverage. And then that's exactly what you tried to do. Nah, come on. Y'all, there is no way Halloween stuff is already out. We're talking like we're not even in the middle of July yet and Halloween stuff is already out. Like this has to be stopped. Christmas was like the exception, but it's even getting worse with Christmas. But this is terrible, y'all. Oh my gosh. Who is that butte right there? That is nice. $25 for a little small one. But is this what you're looking for? The like tool that does that. Yeah. Yeah. This is something that we like, but it's just not the size that we actually need. This is kind of actually kind of small for that big wall. And for the price of $130. Nah. They got some other bigger pictures, but it doesn't quite fit the aesthetic that we're looking for. So to Jamila's point, might honestly just have to make it. Yeah, I was 
and they was like, if Honey were to see these trees, she would like, make sure you get that one. We are driving to another kava because this kava over here is notorious for always missing freaking ingredients these folks ran if you are if you're familiar with kava these folks ran out of pita bread how do you run out of pita bread at 6 30 in the afternoon evening when you all close at 10 o'clock Jamila was like, I'm a, I was like, I'm gonna write a review. And Jamila was like, no, you can't write, they can't help it for a popular, yes, you can. Because as a manager, if you know you are popular, you know it's a popular item, stop running out of items hours before. I'm sorry, y'all, I haven't eaten all day. Hours before. If you don't haste. Y'all supposed to close. Honey, they can't help that they're popular. They also can't help that today was a booming day. How many times do we come on a Sunday? They didn't know that many people gonna show up on a Sunday. They probably had they probably slow on Sundays. Baby, they went out a lot of folks. This is our first time coming on a Sunday. Oh, they were the bowling alley is. You wanna go bowling? And the foot, the foot place smells like foots. Every bowling alley is gonna smell like foots. Oh yeah. Alright, we made it y'all. Hey, I got that Lambo. Yo. What up? Yeah. Here you go. All right, y'all, this is what the food looks like. Really, really good. But before we eat. Oh, you don't want to play? So I ordered from Amazon a 50 count velvet hanger, no shoulder bump hangers, because I have a big problem when I don't wear clothes for a while. They look like shoulder pads when I take them off the hanger for the first time in a long time. So I went ahead and ordered these to help organize the closet. We got a lot of plans for our closet upstairs and I can't wait to get started. When you have clothes and clothes become seasonal, there's several solutions to this. A lot of times people put clothes up, they'll fold them. But a lot of these shirts like this one here, I'm not going to probably wear this shirt in the winter time, but I don't really want to fold it up and put it away. So the issue is I have shirts here that are typically hanging up for a fair amount of time. And when you don't wear these shirts ever so often to where they're not resting on the hanger at months at a time, they wind up coming up looking like shoulder pads. And I really hate that because you ultimately can't wear it or you just got to sacrifice the aesthetic, the look, and you got to work walk around with pent up shoulders. Again, are these velvet hangers, which are considered to be the no shoulder bump hangers. I ordered a 50 pack. I'll link it in the description in case you like how it looks. But let's go ahead and open it up and... Let's put away all these shirts. All right, y'all. Man, it's been like maybe like an hour and a half, two hours. And honestly, I like how we're looking. So, I got all my casual polos from work, all of my work shirts that the school gives us. Here are all my dress shirts. I got them zoned out for their brand and then color coordinated. So this is Zara, Zara White, Zara Blue. Starting here are my express shirts. So all of this, all of this, all of this is express. These are all non-express. May I picked them up at TJ Maxx or somewhere. I still have a whole column of casual shirts that I'm going to put right here. This right here is 50 shirts. I ran out of hanger, so that's why I'm kind of stopping where I'm at right now. But I do have another pair of 50 or set of 50 hangers that's coming in tomorrow from a different brand. And I should be able to fit in maybe my last 30 shirts right here. All of this looks so much neater, and I'm really happy with what I got. 
And I'm blessed to say that I got 50 work shirts. I'm just blessed to say I don't need any work shirts. Brand new day, y'all. Listen, my birthday is right around the corner. And because I live in a highly populated city, I gotta get my missions done to renew my tag. So right now, it's early in the morning. I'm at this mission testing center and it should be easy pass. What I wanna make sure that I have time to do today is honestly my normal, regular, regular life. I wanna make sure I get to the gym, I wanna finish up the closet and we're gonna have ourselves a good day today. And just like that, we are done at 1019, which is my wife's birthday. What? What up, boy? Hmm? Yeah. Ah, look what came in. Let's go get this done. Blue, I'll be back. Got work to do. Today has been a busy day. We're going to like day number three or four. I lost count with this vlog. But earlier today, I went ahead and cleaned up the whole entire basement with blue tracking back and forth. It's a lot of dog hair that can accumulate in the basement. So I went ahead and cleaned all that out, cleaned lizard cages. But because it can get really dusty and there's a lot of attention that needs to be paid to the detail of cleaning the basement, I did not vlog that. But I had to do like a complete clothes change. My clothes were like super dusty. I had an all black, but it don't matter if we back at it. As you can see, we got a whole bunch of clothes that need to be hung up. And right now, we're doing a really good job. I got like maybe like another 30 shirts that need to hang up right here, which I'm confident that I can squeeze into the closet. And um, I, I, think, I think this is gonna be enough space, we'll see. But either way, I purchased another set of 50 hangers yesterday. Actually, when I took that break, I went ahead and purchased some more hangers. And this one is from a company called Timmy. I will go ahead and link these as well. Mind you, as I'm linking these hangers, I don't really have too much experience in hangers. So I don't know what more of a review that if you're in the market for hangers that you might be looking for. But the velvet ones, I did not reorder because it said it was going to take about another week before they got to the house. And ain't nobody got time for that. But all right, y'all. I'm gonna put y'all on the time lapse, speed this process up, hang up these shirts, and let's see what it look like when we get done. All right, yo, we are fully, 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 fully finished. Here's again, all my work polos. Here go all my dress shirts that bleeds into my casual shirts, that bleeds into my athleisure casual shirt. But I really like how the closet is looking. All right, so I just put one of my dress pants up here just to see just how it kind of look. And it doesn't look bad. All right, I like how it looks so far. I was still a little like on the fence, like if it was gonna work or not. So I just kind of like slid them in while they're still on the current hanger. But I think I'm definitely gonna keep it like this. So let's go ahead and take these hangers off. And um, let's just go ahead and fully commit to the process. Nice and organized. Let's finish up. Oh, this looks nice, honey. You like it? Yeah. It looks a little packed here and yeah. there. So what I suggest, you want a suggestion? Yeah, please. I was gonna say that maybe you could have all of these hangers stop here and okay. then take these verticals and put them there and then remove your coat out of here and put it in the coat closet. That'd be perfect. And I think that you possibly could put those in the middle. I was gonna ask about the arrangement. More often. Yeah, I was gonna ask about the arrangement. Um, because it's like I got dress pants, casual. It's like, should I? Flip it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But you like it though? It's really nice. Yeah, it's looking a lot cleaner. I like how it's starting to look. Yeah. Bad lip, show the vlog your hair, baby. I ain't wanna show them. I ain't. 
Yeah, oh, Jamila J got finished doing her hair. Are you done? Um, yes. Yeah, you look really good. Thanks. I'm really tired. It's almost dinner time, and I think I'm probably going to take Blue for a quick walk, and I may actually slide to the gym as well. I didn't go yesterday. Yesterday was like a lazy day for me, even though I kind of got work done in the house, but I don't want to skip two days of not going to the gym. So let's go ahead and transition. Let's do that real quick and figure out what we're going to do for dinner. We're going to go ahead and put it into the vlog. It's been a really, really good, productive day for me so far.